say D. The total area of the rectangles in the nth term of a different sequence. Okay, so we're on a different question now. So I guess I can clear off the previous one. All right. The total area of rectangles in the nth term of a different sequence of groups of rectangles is as follows. Okay, work out the first value of n for which a n is greater than 95% of the area of the triangle on the right. Okay, so we want a n minus 1 over n. That's the total area. Work out the first value of n for which a n is greater than 95% of the of the area of the triangle on the right. Well, half the base by the height. So this is 8. So it's 95% of 8 which is 7.6. Cross multiplying and multiplying out 8n minus 8 more than 7.6n. So 0.4n more than 8. No, it couldn't be this simple, could it? n more than 20. So that means technically n would be 21. 21. 8 times 20 divided by 20, 1, is 7.6. Divided by 8 is 95.23%. So the check out. Yes, so. Okay. What's going on here? Okay. Ah, can't fit it all in. Hang on. Okay, here we go. Okay, and then just one question left after this. Excellent. Diagram A below shows a square-based pyramid with base sides of length C. The base of the pyramid is horizontal, perpendicular height H. The diagram B shows the same pyramid, it shows horizontal square that lies within the pyramid at distance X units down from the top. The area of the shaded square in diagram B is given by that. The volume of the pyramid is given by that. Use integration to find the volume of the pyramid. Oh, okay, great. 0 to h, integration of x squared c squared over h squared dx. So that would be c squared over h squared integrate 0 to h of x squared dx. That would be c squared over h squared x cubed over 3 h0. That would be c squared h cubed over 3 h squared. So that would be 1 third c squared h. One third c squared h. Kidoki. And finally, x starts to increase at a rate of three units per second. So that means the x dt equals 3 units per second. This, of course, causes s to increase as well. Find the rate of change of s with respect to time when x is half the perpendicular height of the pyramid. Okay, so we want find the rate of change of s with respect to time. That's ds dt. That would equal ds dx times dx dt. We know dx dt is 3, so that's 3 the SDX. We can calculate the SDX because we know S, so that's 3 times C squared over H squared times 2X, but we want the SDT um, when X is half the perpendicular height of the pyramid, so that's H over 2, right? So that will be 3C squared over H squared times 2 
times h over 2. The 2's cancel, the h will cancel, so that will be 3c squared over h. And um, that's it. That's the exam complete, I believe. So I did the whole paper. Hopefully, um, I can still get a top grade. My mistakes aren't too bad and numerous. Like I said, I'm doing these questions cold uh, with one attempt only. So if you spot anything wrong, uh, please do let me know. Okay. Thanks for watching.